Praise the Lord, ladies, and welcome to our Tuesday devotional. I hope you're having a great week. I hope God has done something great for you this week. And if not, maybe after today's lesson, um, you'll be able to find something that God has done for you that maybe you didn't initially think of. Today, we're going to be talking about thankfulness. We're going to talk about how um, we can be thankful and why it's important to be thankful every day. Every day we're alive, it's, it's a gift and we need to be thankful and God is pleased with us when we are thankful. So just before we begin, let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. Thank you for each person that is taking the time to view this video today. I pray that this word today would inspire, would encourage, would uplift and strengthen each person. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your greatness. I thank you for life. I thank you for peace. And I'm thankful that I know you, Lord, that I know the creator of the universe, that I can just call on your name when I'm in trouble, when things are great, when things are bad, you are there and you never fail. And I thank you for that, Lord. I ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So let's get started. We're going to be talking about being thankful. Um, our scripture for today will be 1 Chronicles 16.34. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 104, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Colossians 3, 17, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Everything we do. We do it in the name of Jesus and give thanks to God. If we're doing something ungodly, we're not going to do that in the name of Jesus. And we're not going to give thanks to God. And that just speaks for itself that we, you know, we shouldn't be doing things that are sinful, that are ungodly. Because if we can't do it in the name of Jesus, if we can't give God thanks for it, then we shouldn't be doing it. So that's just confirmation of we need to be we need to be living right and doing godly things because it says everything you do it says whatever you do in word or deed so anything you say or anything you physically do do all in the name of Jesus giving thanks to God amen and then we have first 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So again, we have the in everything give thanks. So that is, that includes everything. That includes, you know, whether um, someone randomly gives me a million dollars or whether I randomly lose a million dollars, give thanks because his will is perfect. He has a plan. And when things are bad or when things seem to be bad for us, he may just be teaching us something or using our situation to help somebody else later on down the line. It's important to give thanks because it's the will of God. To give thanks. I literally wake up in the morning and say thank you Jesus because we didn't have to wake up. Every day that we wake up, every day that um, anybody wakes up is because God allowed them to wake up that day. We're not in control of that. Anything can happen to us when we're sleeping. We're, we're not, you know, like totally unconscious, uh, but we're not we're not present, we're sleeping, we're having dreams. You know, anybody could, uh, not to sound uh, pessimistic or anything, but 
you know, anybody could break in your house when you're sleeping or um, something crazy could happen. You know, there could be an explosion or anything. You could just not wake up. But every day we wake up is because God has a plan for me. God has a plan for you. And he wants you to be here. He wants you to be here another day um, to fulfill his will. And it's our job to figure out what that is and to read the word and know what his will is. But we do know that the Bible says it's the will of God for us to give thanks in everything. We are blessed. Think about all the things that you have. We're not just blessed with material things, but for just a minute, let's focus on material things. Your food that you have every day, be thankful for it. The clothes that you have to wear, be thankful for it. The roof over your head, be thankful for it. Some people don't have a roof. Some people are literally homeless, Don't even, can't even go to a shelter. They're outside every night um, un, in unsafe areas whether it's in America or somewhere else. So having somewhere to live is such a blessing. You know, having a refrigerator, having a stove, having a microwave. If you have a dishwasher, having a dishwasher, <laughs> having a vehicle, you know, even if um, you're married and you have one vehicle, be thankful for that one vehicle because it's such a blessing. I remember when I was, um, I didn't have my own car until I was 21 years old. So before that, I had to take the bus and I took the bus and I took um, the L and the train and all these you know, forms of public transportation. And once I finally got a car, I was so, so thankful. I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a blessing. It's such a blessing not to wait at the bus stop um, it's such a blessing not to have to get on a bus with random people and, you know, anything could happen. And so, um, yes, when you have a car, you have to pay for car insurance and gas and repairs. But I was just so thankful to be able to, you know, get from A to B without having to um, depend on a, a public system. And so I, I just was very thankful when I got my first car and it was a um, 2000 Subaru Outback <laughs> wagon. Um, but it was also, and I, I paid for it in cash, it cost me $2,000. And um, I was just so thankful for that car and I, I had it for a while. One day um, my car actually stopped working. I think it was, Maybe I needed a new battery or something. I can't remember, but there was a, a few days where I didn't have my car again. And I was at college. Um, I had to take public transportation again for a few days after having this car. And I was just so thankful again. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't stand those couple of days, but um, it just made me even more grateful. Like, oh, I'm so blessed. So. And at the time, I, my stepdad, he came out and he fixed my car um, and then it was back up running. And I, I was just so thankful for that. And it didn't matter if it was an old car to me. I was just grateful to have a car. Um, and then eventually later I got a newer car, which is the car I have now. We just got to be thankful for whatever we have, even if you know, it's not the top of the line thing or it's not what we really want. We need to be thankful for just what we have and that God um, provides for us all the time. We need to be thankful for our, if our jobs or if we're not working, our husband's job or, or whatever income we have, we need to be thankful for that. Uh, we need to be thankful that we know Jesus most of all. We need to be thankful that um, we know who who made us we know why we're living here and we need to share the love of Jesus we need, to, we need to share Jesus with everyone look for open doors and open opportunities um, I was just thinking today of how I could be you know how I could be more creative with um, reaching random people and it might be kind of hard now with having to wear the masks and everything and having random conversations with strangers can be a, a little challenging now when people are supposed to be safe.
six feet apart and get where you're going and get out, get in, get out of the store, go back home. You know, even though they lifted and we're in the green phase, it seems like people are still very hesitant and, and distant from one another, especially strangers. So the way I see it is when I go out, um, I usually get to speak to someone at a cash register. So if I'm in, <clears throat> in any type of store, you know, the cash register, not the cash register, the cashier, the cashier will say, oh, hi, how are you today? And you know, normally I say, good, how are you? But now something just spoke to me today and um, I just got a burden an idea to be more creative in that. So instead of saying, good, how are you? I'm gonna say something that stands out. I'm gonna say, I am blessed or I am extremely well. And I just hope that that would lead to, um, lead to me explaining why I'm doing so well. <laughs> and I'll say, it's because of him, that's why. And you know, you never know where, where that conversation might take you. So. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna do that, you know, whenever I go out, I'm probably gonna go out later today um, and just see, you know, see what happens. Try to be a little different, try to be creative. Um, and I would challenge you to do the same thing. Just try it, you know, try it one time, see what happens. Look for ways to share Jesus with strangers. Amen, so I'm thankful to know, to know Jesus. Every day we wake up, I'm gonna cut this video short. I wasn't planning to tell a whole story, but um, every day we wake up, it's a gift. And we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful for everything we have. We need to be thankful for everything we have internally. We need to be thankful for the spirit of God in us. And I just challenge you to, every day you wake up, thank the Lord, thank him for everything and thank him for um, what he's going to do in you. He's continuing to do a work in you. And he's, he has such a big plan for your life still, regardless of how crazy the world is. Um, God wants to use you and he's, he's counting on us. And um, I hope this has helped you today. Have a wonderful rest of the day in Jesus name.